uh, the U.S. Uh, and Israel are, uh, are such strong allies, and the U.S. Uh, um, aid to Israel is uh, responsible for um, uh, much of the the racism in Israel that rarely gets talked about. Uh, the, the problem is that um, many people in the U.S. do not have the opportunity to um, grasp the real conditions in Israel. And they, um, <coughs> excuse me, often assume that to be opposed to the state of Israel is to express anti-Semitic ideas. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, I point out that I've been active in the Palestinian Solidarity Movement since I was in college. And I went to a Jewish university. I went to a university with, that was founded in the same year as the State of Israel, Brandeis. And I learned Palestinian Solidarity from my Jewish classmates uh, at that time. Um, I think that um, that uh, uh, it is going to be increasingly important to um, uh, bring the issue of Palestine into the agendas of uh, domestic agendas and other international issues. One of the problems in the U.S. is that uh, there there is a there is a strong um, Palestine justice uh, movement. Uh, there's students, students for justice for Palestine on campuses all over the country. On campuses uh, throughout the country, there's also uh, observed what is called Israeli Apartheid Week. Uh, uh, however, um, the the movement tends to be separate from other movements. And I think the real challenge is to integrate. Uh, just as the, just as the, the, the anti-Vietnam War movement was integrated into all kinds of issues, uh, including um, the civil rights issue. And this is when Martin Luther King spoke about Vietnam. He was the first public figure to speak out against Vietnam. And he was criticized because he was told that that's not an issue for a civil rights advocate to uh, take up. And so our, our goal now is to encourage uh, people who are involved in a whole range of uh, issues, feminist issues, uh, anti-war issues, uh, uh, labor uh, um, um, movement issues, to take up the, the question of, of Palestine. And I think, you know, I think it's only a matter of time. And I, I, I point out that uh, there was a moment when Nelson Mandela was considered a terrorist. And he was not supported because he was involved in Umkonto We Siswe. The uh, Amnesty International refused to take up the case of Nelson Mandela. And now, of course, uh, you know, he has a kind of sacred status all, all, all over the world. And so, uh, when I think about the situation of the Palestinians, I say we you know, have to remember that it is possible to move along the same kind of trajectory that South Africa and, and, and Mandela.